Okay, one more here on Hyper-V that might be useful when you're working on projects at home, and that is the Hyper-V Quick Create. So I'm going to come over here and click Quick Create, and this opens up on my other screen, so let me haul it over here. All right, and this is to fast create a virtual machine, so I don't have to set as many things here as I need, or as I have the option to when I'm doing it the other way. So I'm going to just do Quick Create. And then I'm going to set two things basically, the installation source. So I'm going to choose, and notice it'll do either VHDXs or ISOs. So I'm going to choose an ISO. I'm going to go to my C drive, installs, and this time let's do, oh, let's do Ubuntu desktop just for variety's sake. And hit OK. So that sets my installation source, and then this virtual machine will run Windows. All right, it's not, so I'm going to uncheck that. That's just kind of a little, if you're running any version of Windows, check that. If you're not, don't check that. And then I'm going to connect it to my demo switch. Okay, that's done. Uh, let's click Create Virtual Machine. And it goes through and builds the virtual machine for me automatically. And then I can either connect to it and bring it up or edit settings and see what it did. Now, it assumes a bunch of other settings for me. It didn't ask me, it just assumed a bunch of them. And that's okay, because it's quick create, that's what I wanted it to do. Uh, you'll notice it defaulted to two gigs of RAM, four virtual processes instead of one, which is what it'll default to if you do the new virtual machine. I went to create a virtual hard drive, and it used the uh, ISO file for its CD drive. So it's a fast, easy way. It does assume a bunch of things by default, but it's a fast, easy way to create a virtual machine. So that's just another little thing you can use in Hyper-V.